So guys, I know it's everybody's favorite day except Garfield's favorite day. Podcast Monday, but I'm still feeling a bit ill. So instead of live streaming it, I'm just gonna record it right now, and uh, probably just be a super short video going over the news of last week of Yu-Gi-Oh. So first things first, we now have a new way to qualify for Worlds. Um, now it's February 13th, 2017. Long story short, you can basically earn points. Uh, world Championship Qualifying Points. Uh, this is done by several events um, through regionals, uh, Dragon Duels, OTS Championships, uh, uh, Nationals if you're in Latin America, and um, YCF Series, of course. Uh, your points it received is the amount of top cuts you get, so it's like 1,024 player... No, wait, let's say like it's like a 10-round tournament that's like top 32, top 64, something like that. You get so first place, you get 64, and it goes down. And in addition, for North American the championship qualifiers, um, pretty much Nats, uh, top four duelists at the end of playoff rounds will earn the invite. Uh, the remaining three will earn it through points. So good luck with that. Um, last quick, if you're already topped the regional before this announced in the season, it's already been added retroactively. Okay, next thing. There's a new judge a travel assist mat. Uh, this is pretty much given to judges who fly out to other events, like if you're from Atlanta, you fly out to help out YC of Seattle, which we'll go over really briefly today. Uh, you, uh, in other events, you get this mat. It's Lifer. It's pretty sick. Moving on. Uh, YC is Bogota. Uh, the date's been changed. It's now February 15th, 16th, 2017. There are a lot of American YCS. Good luck to everybody playing there. Now, the big thing. Uh, the new rules involving dual links. Oh, not dual links. Sorry, link monsters or link summoning. So with the new series V Rain, there's a new mechanic called link summon. Uh, the example card right here is the Code Talker. It's a dark cyber type, so we're getting a new type too. A link effect monster level. Oh, sorry, link three. So you see, links are the points right here. So you have one, two, three links. It attacks twenty three hundred. Uh, to summon it, you need two or more effect monsters. It's uh, you just send it to the grave, I believe. The special summon it from your extra deck. Uh, the effects. Um, this monster gains 500 attack for each monster linked to it. So if there's a monster here, here, or here, it'll gain 500 per. So it can get up to 1500. Uh, what else? The other one doesn't matter. But in terms of link something, yeah, um, you send materials to the grave equal to the link number. So for this, you need since it's link three, you need two or more effect monsters sent to the grave. Uh, you can link summon. Sorry. sorry, you can link summon something from your extra deck by sending the same number of monsters that met the requirement. Decrease material by using link monsters. So uh, link monsters are treated as the same number of links as is link number. However, to use them, you must use the requirement. So for the total, yeah, long story short, the cold talker. You can use three effect monsters or use one link two effect monster and one uh, effect monster. So if you need, a, let's say, a link five, he would count for three. Uh, they have no defense. Link monster have no defense points, and they have special characteristics of not being able to change battle position or turn to defense position by effect. Uh, some weird rulings we're trying to figure out, such as how to interact with uh, lose a turn and such. Uh, that'll be probably announced closer when this actually takes effect. There's now an extra monster, extra monsters zone. So for extra deck monsters, that pretty much limits uh, what how many special deck monsters you can summon. Special deck, extra deck. So you see here the link monsters taken to one. Um, in other cards like let's say, Morat, Morat is gonna be here instead, and in that's the monster zone. Um, but if you do have a link monster, the cards it's linked to are if you can make uh, extra deck monsters. So I see in this picture as an example. Uh, because the cold target is the link monster, we see that Dark Rebellion can be summoned in the monster zone. Uh, go back. Uh, that's pretty much it. New rules. Um, if special summons, let's go real quick. If a uh, special summon the extra monster normally, it goes great. Right, I want to special with Monster Born, which only goes to it goes to the main monster zone, not the extra monster zone. That's OCG. We don't have Monster Born here. 
Oh, okay, so this is the thing. A card such as Book of Moon. Lake monsters can never be in the fence position, so it can't be targeted. Uh, every point. Yeah, you have to attack the monster if you're in the extra monster zone. It's not like they're just standing above and you're getting a hit in the face. Oh, no, the last thing I forgot to mention. In terms of the, the monster zone, the pendulum is now considered here and here. So they're not considered um, the regular back row for your five. So you can have like five regular back row, two pendulum, two, three back row. Thing. Yeah. In terms of the show, this is the main protagonist. His name is Fujiki Yusaku. He's cool headed and extremely clever. His real skill is his hacking and cracking abilities. As well, he's good at reading people and think on his feet. Thinks on his feet, yeah. Um, he transforms when he's hacking into Playmaker. Uh, yeah, it's like traditional Yu-Gi-Oh changing. There's a mysterious life form, probably Astral-ish person character, who knows. We have to wait to see um, February's. So February 1st be the first episode in Japan. I don't know when it comes to the U.S. Oh, last but not least, why see a Seattle happen? Uh, we had Alex Alexis Rodriguez from Team Jobber taking it first place with his Kaiju Zodiac against Noah Green and his Artifact Zodiac. Uh, no deck profiles was found as found of me recording this. I might re-record. Um, I might re-upload a video with the deck profiles going over in depth. If, but they probably did by then. Yeah, uh, 851 duelist. Congrats to him. Zodiac is going to get hit, but most likely it was, I think, 17. It was like a big number for uh, top 32. That was Zodiac's. Top 8 all but 2 Infernoids, and they got wrecked going to top 4. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, sorry I couldn't stream this. I still feel like crap. Uh, hopefully next week I don't die. Uh, who knows? Uh, well then, see you guys.